Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be taking a quick look at how the ongoing African swine fever epidemic that is affecting much of Asia at the moment is impacting the beef and lamb markets. For those who may be unaware, African swine fever is a highly contagious disease that is nearly always fatal to pigs. The disease originated in Africa and has been present in Eastern Europe for some time. However, last August it was discovered in China and has since spread throughout the country, infecting large portions of the Chinese pig herd. The Dutch bank Rabobank recently estimated that pork consumption in China has declined by up to 15% in the first quarter alone. This is being fueled primarily by food safety concerns of the Chinese consumer, despite ASF having no impact on humans. Even so, considering the sheer scale of China and the influence it has on global markets, it is still likely to cause significant ripples in the protein markets in the months to come. There is expected to be a large shortage of protein in the region later in the year, after China has worked through frozen pork stocks. It is expected that chicken, fish and imported pork will cover much of the gap, but beef and lamb will undoubtedly play their part too, and there are signs they already are. Beef and lamb hold a small share of overall protein demand in China, however they have been gaining in popularity in recent years. Chinese consumers are becoming increasingly familiar with beef and lamb. A small change in a country the size of China can have an enormous impact. In 2016, China reported official imports of beef and sheep meat to the tune of 800,000 tonnes. By the end of 2018, this, this had increased to 1.36 million tonnes and looks set to increase even more in 2019. Beef imports alone are up 47% in the first quarter. Even with conservative estimates on the scale of pork production losses, the volumes required are simply not available on the global market. Although the UK hasn't started shipping to China yet, market access was recently granted after over 20 years of absence. This is now likely to come to fruition towards the end of 2019 or the beginning of 2020, significantly quicker than was anticipated when inspections first started taking place last year. Chinese buyers have tended to favour lower value cuts, which have indeed been increasing this year, probably as a direct response to ASF. However, there has also been a large increase in demand for higher end cuts. Meat and Livestock Australia recently reported that Australia's shipments of beef hind quarter and loin primals, as well as lamb legs and shoulder shipments to China, have grown dramatically in 2019. The same trend is being seen with New Zealand. New Zealand bone in exports to China are increasing in both volume and unit price per tonne. This is likely to have an interesting effect on European markets. Products going to China are increasingly becoming in direct competition with European demand. In the case of lamb, there is already expected to be a shortage in production from both New Zealand and Australia. With China increasing demand for higher end cuts, this could pull even more product away from the European market towards the end of the year.